Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be all about drugstore skincare. You guys know how much I love skincare. I love looking at ingredients, trying to figure out what really works in our skin, especially for anti-aging purposes because if you're my age you probably did a lot of sun worshiping when you were younger and you have all that photo damage to try to correct now that we're a little bit older and it is starting to show up on our faces. So in years past, it was really hard to get super effective products from the drugstore, but I gotta say, there are so many new companies that are cranking out new skincare. A lot of them are at a really good price point. And so the world of skincare has been turned on its head over the last, say, five to seven years with the introduction of brands like The Ordinary and Timeless, Mad Hippie and Coco Kind and Pacifica and Elf. So some of the brands I mentioned are for sale at the actual brick and mortar drugstores. Some are from Target. And then some brands are things that you can only get online, but they are like the best deal and the best formulation. So I definitely want to steer you towards those. So I'm going to do this category by category as far as ingredient, and then give you my pick for what is the best formulated with the best concentration with the best price point of the things in that category. So if you love a good affordable skincare video, go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And before we get started, I just wanted to share some new discount codes that I have because they will apply to some of the things in this video. I have a new code with Stylevana. They are a shop online for everything Korean skincare and Korean beauty. So my code is for 10% off. It's shop flashy and that's on any purchase. But if you make a purchase over a certain dollar amount, it will go up to 15% off. So in the US, it's $59 in Canada. Canada, it's $75. In the UK, it's 43 pounds. In Australia, it's $77. And in the EU, it's 48 euros. So if you go above that amount, then you'll get 15% off. Anything below that amount will be 10% off. And another one that I'll definitely talk about in this video is Undefined because they make my favorite sunscreen and I have a new discount code with them on their website and it's for 10% off and the code is hot and flashy. And then for those of you who have been thinking about getting a new face, which isn't something that I'm going to really be talking about in this video because this is all about topical skincare, but New Face is one of the devices that I love. I've been using it for eight years. I love what it does for my skin. You guys know about me and my new face. Anyway, Current Body has offered me a 50% off the regular retail price of New Face on their site just for a few days. And so I wanted to get this out there because it started yesterday and it ends in a couple days and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. So the code is Angie NF and that's good from the 27th, which was yesterday through August 1st, which is next Tuesday. Links and codes will be in the info box below the video for all of those discounts, as well as all my other discount codes, which are always ongoing. All right, so let's get started with the heavy hitters of the anti-aging world, and those are the retinoids. Now, the gold standard of retinoids is a prescription retinoid known as Tretinoin, Retin-A. You guys know that I use that. I use that with agency. I always recommend that if you can use a prescription retinoid that you do, because they are gonna be the most effective over time. But a lot of people can't use a prescription retinoid, so there are other retinoids that you can get from the drugstore. The second best retinoid, in my opinion, is going to be retinaldehyde, and it is one step removed from tretinoin. Your skin actually has to convert it into all trans retinoic acid, which is what tretinoin already is. So that's why it's considered so much weaker because it does have to go through that conversion process. I've been using retinaldehyde serum for a long time now that I love. I use it on my neck because my neck is too sensitive to use my prescription strength retinoid there. So I've been using the May Love Moonlight Retinaldehyde Serum. Now where retinaldehydes are concerned, there is a certain percentage that you want to be looking for in your product. You want it to be either 0.05% or 0.1%. And this May Love Moonlight is a 0.1%. You can't actually get this in the drugstore. This is like an online only product. And until recently, this was definitely the least expensive way to go to get a retinaldehyde into your skincare routine. But there is a actual drugstore product that you can like walk into a Target and pick up that is 
much more reasonably priced than this, and I just ordered it. I don't have it to show you here today, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's from Naturium, and it is their Retinaldehyde Cream Serum. It's a 0.1% Retinaldehyde Serum, and it's $30 for 1.7 ounces. The formula looks really good to me. I do have it on the way, and I will be trying it and I can let you know in a later video. Both the Naturium and the Maylove are bright, bright yellow serums. So this is the color of retinaldehyde. It's really bright yellow. So, you know, some people might not even like the color of retinaldehyde, but that is what color it is. I feel like it doesn't turn my skin yellow, but if you're using it at night, which you should be, and then you're a face sleeper, you, you might end up getting like a yellow kind of mark on your pillowcase and you might not like that, in which case a retinaldehyde just might not be for you. And if a retinaldehyde isn't gonna be for you, my second choice from the drugstore is gonna be Differin Gel. Now this is a third generation retinoid called Adapalene, and Adapalene at a stronger strength is actually a prescription acne medicine, and they released it over the counter in this lower strength. This does hit two retinoid receptors and it binds to them, and so it works sort of like tretinoin in that it's already in its active form. So when you put it on, your skin doesn't have to convert it at all. And there are a couple of very small studies that show that it could have some anti-aging effects like increasing collagen production and reducing fine lines and wrinkles and thickening the deeper layers of the skin. And also it has been shown, especially to be able to remove hyperpigmentation marks, especially from acne or pimples. So it's really good at that. And it may also help to lighten up discolorations. And you can just walk into any CVS or Walgreens or whatever drugstore you have and pick this up off the shelf. It's about $30 for this one point six ounce tube. You should use this just like you would your tretinoin, just a pea size amount at night. It can actually be irritating, even though it is much less irritating than tretinoin. Ease in slowly with it because it can still be irritating even though it's less irritating. And then my third choice at the drugstore is gonna be the Neutrogena Retinol Pro Plus. Neutrogena is owned by Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is the company that did all of the original research on tretinoin and on retinol. And so Neutrogena knows how to formulate retinol correctly. So just like vitamin C, you know, I'm always telling you like vitamin C is such an unstable molecule, retinol is equally unstable. And so it really needs to be handled right in the formula. The other thing is that most of the retinols that are on the market, they don't tell you how much is in there. And you know, it's always really important for me to know how much of the active ingredient is in the product. Cause I always like to compare that to the amount that they used in the studies to get the results, right? And 99% of the retinols at the drugstore do not tell you how much is in there or if they put a number on the label, it's a complex. So it's like a mixture of retinol with some other stuff, but it's not the pure retinol. And for those reasons, I feel like Neutrogena is definitely the best bet for retinol and particularly this product because this product has 0.5% pure retinol. So even though it sounds like a small amount, it still is the clinically effective amount because all the studies that were done on retinol used from 0.3%, 0.7%, 1%. So there's lots of different percentages in the studies, but they're all kind of in the range of this one. It is Neutrogena's most effective retinol. It's like $45, but you're actually getting the real thing and you know how much is in there. So this is a really nice lightweight serum and it does have a couple of other ingredients to help it to stay stable in the bottle. It is fragranced. I don't remember if there was a fragrance-free version of this. All right, my second most important skincare ingredient is sunscreen. You guys know how much I love sunscreen, talk about it all the time. And there are actually some really good sunscreens that you can get from the drugstore. My current favorite is from Undefined. It's their R&R sunscreen. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It's an SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating, which means that they tested it for UVA protection and it gives really robust UVA protection. And this is a great price point. It's $28 for 1.7 ounces, so it lasts a good long time, but I do have that 10% off code with Undefined that I mentioned earlier, hot and flashy. And this actually lasts me quite a long time, and it's a really beautiful, fluid, hydrating sunscreen that I absolutely love. 
And then another really great sunscreen from the drugstore is going to be the Australian Gold Botanical SPF 50. This is another tinted mineral 50. This one comes in four different shades though, so hopefully you can find a shade that matches you. This one is a little bit drying on me, so I would say it's more for people with oily skin, maybe combo skin, normal possibly. If you have super dry skin, I might not use this. This is a lot thicker, but it makes a really good like primer for makeup or it can just be your makeup. It's three ounces for about $15, so $5 an ounce is an amazing price for a really solid mineral sunscreen. And then another really great uh, pick it up at the drugstore sunscreen is the Neutrogena Mineral UV Tint. This is an all mineral SP SPF 30, also tinted. This one comes in four shades as well. This one retails for $20 for one ounce. This is going to be a lot more hydrating. It's got a really super glowy, dewy finish. For me, it was like a little too glowy and dewy, especially at the end of the day under makeup, but I did really enjoy it. I felt like it looked youthful under my makeup and it's a really good sunscreen. And then one last sunscreen that I wanted to mention that you could get at Stylevana and you can use my 10% off code to get it is the Haru Haru Wonder uh, Black Rice Moisture Airy Lift Daily Sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is a European chemical sunscreen. So it doesn't use any of the American chemical sunscreening agents. Those all irritate my skin so badly I can't use them. So I tried this one a few weeks ago and I fell so hard for this. I love it. I've used it almost every day since, except for a few days where I use my R&R because I do still love that one. But this is so good. It works really well under makeup. It doesn't have a tint, so you don't have to worry about like the tint getting on your clothes or <laughs> coming off on people. It's definitely sheer and invisible on the skin. It does have a little bit of a glowy finish, but it is a beautiful sunscreen and it costs about $12, $15 for 1.7 ounces. And you can use my Stylevana discount code to pick that up. All right, another ingredient that I really love, and I would love it if you could actually walk into a drugstore and buy it, but you really can't. I mean, you can get other versions of it, but not the kind that I like. I'm talking, of course, about vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of the staples in my skincare routine. It brightens your skin, it reduces discolorations, it works behind the scenes to really strengthen your skin because it fights free radicals and free radicals damage your DNA, destroy your collagen, destroy your elastin. And so it's great to have something working in the background all the time that is really protecting the things that make your skin look youthful. So I love vitamin C, but 99% of the vitamin C's in the drugstore are going to be your vitamin C esters or derivatives. They haven't really been shown to work at all in your skin. So, you know, you could spend a little money on them. You could spend a lot of money on them. Either way, it's a waste of money in my humble opinion. Take it for what it's worth. So the vitamin C's that I love are ascorbic acid based vitamin C serums. And in order to formulate them correctly, they need to be formulated at a lower pH so that it can actually get into your skin. And it's also great if they have a couple of helper antioxidants, vitamin E and ferulic acid. And there is a sweet spot as far as the concentration. You wanna look for between 10 and 20% of l ascorbic acid in your product. So the reason that there aren't any in the drugstore is because they oxidize really quickly, which means that they turn brown. And if you plunk down $30 in the drugstore for a vitamin C serum, take it home, open it up, and it's like a brown, you're gonna take it back, right? You're gonna want your money back. So that's why it's better to buy from an online brand where they can make it up fairly fresh and ship it to you while it's still fresh, and then you'll get a good three to six months out of the bottle. And so my favorite one, as you guys know, is from Timeless Skincare. It's their 20% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid serum. Now you can't get this at the drugstore, but it's a great price. It's like $26.95, something like that. And any vitamin C serum that I'm going to recommend to you, I've already tested the pH on it to make sure that it's in the right range so that it will get into your skin and work. It is a really watery liquid. It's clear. It's so lightweight and so nice. I just love it. I tell you what, <laughs> I hate to waste any of it. Um, I put it on the backs of my hands every day, so I already have some on there. So I'm just gonna rub this up into my arms because, oh, do I love a vitamin C serum. And if your vitamin C serum is starting to oxidize, and you're not gonna use it on your face anymore, it is still good, it can still do some good in your skin, don't throw it out, use it on your body. So that's my number one pick for a drugstore priced vitamin C serum. I did find one at the drugstore that is formulated at the right pH. 
and that is the Vichy Lift Active Vitamin C Serum. Now, as you can see, this is already brown. It has oxidized a bit already, probably because it's been sitting on the shelf in that CVS for a long time. So is this my top choice? Absolutely not. And then the third vitamin C and one of the least expensive vitamin C serums that is well formulated that I always recommend that you can't actually walk into the drugstore and get, but you can buy it on Amazon is the Dr. Brenner C Serum. This one is formulated at the right pH. It has everything you need in there. It's a very simple solution. This is gonna be probably the closest to SkinCeuticals vitamin C serum. So for $19.99 for this, it is a really great buy. Another really effective skincare ingredient that you want to definitely be using in your anti-aging skincare routine is an alpha hydroxy acid. Alpha hydroxy acids are an umbrella term that covers a number of different acids, but the most common ones that people use are glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, and there's also PHAs. In my skincare routine, I use lactic acid. That's my favorite form of an alpha hydroxy acid. So I use one from The Ordinary. This is like the ultimate drugstore brand. It's available in Ulta on the drugstore side of the house. You can also get it at Target. I think this is like $6.95, so you can't beat the price on it. And it's an ounce and it is really, really well formulated. So like with the vitamin Cs and the retinoids, the alpha hydroxy acids have to be formulated specifically to keep the ingredient able to get into your skin and work. And so the alpha hydroxy acids have to be at a lower pH, usually around a three and a half to four is good. And so I've tested all these products that I'm gonna show you today to make sure that they do have the proper pH. I've been using this one for years. This is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% with 2% hyaluronic acid. I've never been able to use a glycolic acid on my face. They're just too irritating for me, but who knows, you might want to use a glycolic acid. So a really great glycolic acid product at a great price point is from Naturium. This is their glycolic acid resurfacing gel, 10%. I tested the pH on this one. It came in right at like a 3.5 to 4. And this is a really good product because it does have that 10% glycolic acid in here. Like with vitamin C, you're looking for a certain percentage of acid in your product. You're looking for anywhere from probably about 5% up to 10%, maybe 12, 15%. It's kind of like a gel serum. It's really lightweight. It's really nice. It's $23 for three ounces. So a really great price point on this. Now, a product that just came out that has lactic acid in it, and I tested its pH and I was shocked to see that it actually had a low enough pH for the lactic acid to work is this new one from Olay. It's their new super serum. So this little super serum contains niacinamide, vitamin C, collagen peptide, vitamin E, and lactic acid. It's kind of like very mother of pearl-ish. So that's what that looks like. I don't think it makes your skin mother of pearlish, but maybe it does, you know, for those of you who like a nice glow. I gotta say the vitamin C in here is kind of a waste for me because they uh, could have put ascorbic acid in there since it is at a lower pH. You know, and I get why they didn't because they don't want this really pretty, pretty serum to turn brown and oxidize with the vitamin C in there. So they went with an ester of vitamin C. So for me, the vitamin C in here, it's not really gonna do that much for your skin. So for me, the lactic acid is definitely the hero ingredient in here. If it's 5%, then it could be within the effective range. It could be a nice starter lactic acid, a nice starter alpha hydroxy acid to use. And then I've got a couple of other alpha hydroxy acid products here that I think are really good for beginners because they have a smaller concentration of a few different acids. And so they're not gonna be quite as irritating to the skin. So one of them is the r, &R Exfoliator. This is a 10% acid treatment. This one is in the proper pH range. This has lactic acid, salicylic acid, and malic acid. The lactic acid and the malic acid will exfoliate kind of the surface of your skin. And what salicylic acid does is it exfoliates inside your pores. So it's going to keep your pores clearer. So this is really probably meant for younger people, maybe with oilier skin. And again, I have that 10% off discount code with undefined, so you can pick that up for 10% off. And then the last acid that I wanted to share is from Coco Kind. It's their turmeric illuminating solution. This has a 7% mix of PHA, mandelic, and glycolic acid. It's a very pale yellow color. It's kind of the consistency 
of a gel serum. If you're like me and you could never really tolerate a high glycolic acid, then this could be something that you can start with. All right, let's switch over into peptides now. I love peptides for anti-aging. They are a group of products that there's a lot of different peptides and they all do kind of different things. My current favorite peptide niacinamide glycerin cream to use is from e.l.f. It's their holy hydration face cream. I love it that it comes in a fragrance-free version. And this is my night cream that I use every night. It is so soothing and so nice feeling on the skin and it doesn't make any of my other products ball and pill. This is pretty much the last step in my nighttime skincare routine. And it's very, very inexpensive. Now this is another multi-peptide cream. It is the Mad Hippie Face Cream. Matrixyl Synth 6 is one of the main peptides that's in there. It also has Syntax. This also contains niacinamide and green tea. It's got resveratrol, which is another ingredient I like to have in my skincare routine that I get with another product, but it's in here. So this is just packed with good stuff. It's a really, really good face cream. I mean, it's pretty small too, at one ounce. You go through it pretty quickly. I think that might be why I stopped using it. I just wanted like a bigger jar of a thicker cream. That would be my end of the night cream, but that is a good one if you're looking for something that brings a lot to the table in one nice little package. Okay, let's talk about ceramides next. Ceramides are a really important ingredient in my skincare routine. They are a fatty lipid that helps your skin to look plump and smooth. And of course, our skin generates less and less ceramides the older we get. And so we can replenish them from the outside in by applying them to the surface. And so my favorite number one pick from the drugstore is the CeraVe PM lotion. This is like the original drugstore lotion that has always had ceramides in it. It also has niacinamide, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. I use this one in the morning and I love this and it's like $15 for three ounces. So a really great buy on this. But there are a lot of new ceramide creams, lotions, serums out there now. So I just wanted to talk about a few of them. Another one of my favorites that I started using is the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Cream. I was using this one over the winter because it's a little bit of a thicker cream, but this is also a little more matte than the CeraVe. The CeraVe leaves me kind of with a bit of a shiny finish. And if I just want to be a little bit more matte, this is better for that. But this has just about all the same ingredients. I think it's got uh, the niacinamide, the glycerin, the ceramides. A lot of brands will, will highlight ceramides on the label. And then when you look at it there's only one ceramide in there but the research kind of shows that you need a combination of different ceramides and you also need a couple of helper ingredients so all the ceramide creams that i'm going to show you have a bunch of ceramides and the helper ingredients that they need okay so you can't just you know that's the thing about the drugstore shopping is you really need to know what you're looking for you can't just go in and grab anything that says ceramide because more than likely it's got just one ceramide way down on the label and it's not enough ceramide to do anything in your skin, but these products are the ones that actually have enough. So there's this one. Then there's a sister product to this one that I just saw the other day and it is their Vegan Ceramide Barrier Lotion. So this is a more hydrating version to this where this one is matte, even though it's a thicker cream, I really wouldn't use it as like my super emollient overnight night cream if my skin's dry. I think this one is probably more for people with combo to oily skin, but this one, the ingredients in here just looks so much more hydrating. It's got more oils, more butters in it. It's like a nice lightweight looking white lotion. Oh, this hand is going to be super duper moisturized by the end of this video. Lucky hand. You're gonna be looking great. Ooh, this is a really, really nice feeling lotion. Then another one that I only kind of like, but it could be less expensive than some of these, is the e.l.f. Pure Skin Moisturizer. This one also contains ceramides, niacinamide, and glycerin and hyaluronic acid. I've used most of this up. I've kind of stopped using this because I went back to my CeraVe. And the last one that I wanted to share is this Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is more of a lightweight serum. If you don't want a cream or a lotion for your ceramides, this might fit the bill. This is a really nice serum. I think this one has like five ceramides. So it's going to absorb quicker on the skin. It's going to feel less tacky. Ooh, this one really feels nice. This has a really 
nice silky feel to it. This brand Coco Kind is available at Target, so you can just walk into a Target and pick this one up. That was a lot of products to go over, and I know now everyone's going to say, well, how do I use these in my skincare routine? <laughs> if you look at my skincare routine, which I just did one about a month ago, I'll link that one right up here and also on the end plate, you can see my skincare routine, and you'll see like where I use my lactic acid. If you're using one of these other alpha hydroxy acids, then that is where you would slot it in. And when you see me using my Timeless Vitamin C Serum, but you're using one of these other vitamin Cs, that's where you would slot it in. So that's how you can work them into your skincare routine. It does take a lot of products to get all the active ingredients that you need to really anti-age sun damaged skin that's been sun damaged for like 40 or 50 years. That's why I use a lot of ingredients in my skincare routine, but it has worked wonders for me. And I hope of course that it works wonders for you. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.